Hi, welcome to Fun Science with Rohini. The experiment of today is how Aristarchus measured the diameter of the sun. Yesterday, it was Aristarchus measuring the earth-sun distance. Today, it is Aristarchus again measuring the diameter of the sun. Very simple logic again. No trigonometry, only Euclidean geometry, triangles, angles and distances is all they have and eclipses to observe. Now yesterday when it was uh, Aristarchus calculating the distance of the sun from earth, it was the phases of the moon that he used for the calculation. And today for calculating the diameter of the sun, Aristarchus used solar eclipse. Now how, how could they use solar eclipse to find out the diameter of the sun? Now during a solar eclipse, the moon comes in between the earth and the sun. When the moon comes in between the earth and the sun, the moon temporarily or for that moment blocks the view of the sun from the earth. It blocks, the moon blocks the view of earthlings to the sun. That was, uh, that's what happens during a solar eclipse. And then again, Aristarchus came up with a shadow from uh, the center of the earth to uh, uh, the, the sun uh, spanning the distance of the moon, spanning the diameter of the moon. So when he came up with this, there was very simple logic used behind this. If you can see in this diagram, there is a straight line passing between earth, moon and the sun. And then there is, there is a line which is, you know, touching the edge of the moon and going to the sun because this is what is blocking our view. And then another line touching the other edge of the moon and uh, going to the sun and this is how it blocks the view of the sun from the earth. If you see this, there are two triangles here, one big triangle, one small triangle and the distance between earth and moon is already written as EM. Yesterday also we did the same thing and the distance from the earth to the sun is ES, earth sun distance, earth moon distance. Now he said that because these two triangles are similar, the ratio of uh, ES by EM will be equal to the heights RS by RM, uh, RS, RS by RM, radius, okay. So Aristarchus's logic was simple, ratio of ES by EM will be equal to the heights that is RS by RM. And the radius is nothing but diameter, 2 times the diameter, 2R is diameter. So uh, if we go ahead with the equation, ES by EM will be equal to diameter sun by diameter moon. Simple logic. And if we use yesterday's Equation again, ES equals 20 times EM. Distance of sun from earth equals 20 times the distance of uh, moon from earth. That's yesterday's calculation. In today's calculation also, we will use this equation because again we are here with ES by EM equals diameter sun by diameter moon. That is uh, dia S by dia M. And we already know ES is equal to 
20 times em. So therefore, diameter of sun is equal to 20 times the diameter of moon. No numbers again, simple logic, simple experiment, simple conclusion. Diameter of sun is 20 times the diameter of the moon based on yesterday's experiment or the logic of yesterday's experiment. The actual diameter is far, far greater than this. Again, Aristarchus was way off, but again, for the logic, he gets all the points. Thank you.